If you want faster Wi-Fi and to stop your Zoom from buffering in your next meeting, you really should stop using the microwave. Yeah, that's the kind of articles I'm seeing lately with everybody stuck at home and everybody wants to maximize their internet usage. That's what they're telling people. Look, I really wasn't going to make this video, but so many people have been sending me messages asking if this is actually true. So I thought, you know what? Let's test this. Now, you know, on this channel, I have lots of different solutions that actually work in order to understand how to get faster Wi-Fi, better internet speed, better connectivity and get those Zoom sessions going. But today, let's do a fun one. Let's go and test and see if your microwave is really the cause of your internet problems. Let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay, well, before we start, um, usual disclaimer applies. I'm not a scientist, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a microwave repair specialist. So I'm going to tell you what this is all about, and then I'm going to show you an actual test that I've done with no equipment, just how a regular person would actually experience if the microwave was on during the Wi-Fi usage. So it all starts with the fact that your microwave uses 2.4 gigahertz in order to warm up your food. Now, 2.4 gigahertz happens to be the same as your Wi-Fi. So technically, could the two actually start interfering with each other? Technically, it could. So the way a microwave works is that you put your food inside, close the door, press the on button, and then basically the whole energy is focused internally in order to warm up whatever meal you happen to be warming up. So how does that interfere with your Wi-Fi? Well, your microwave actually leaks energy. Instead of being pumped all the way inside, it actually leaks it out into your kitchen or your office. So technically, because of that leakage, it's able to interfere with the Wi-Fi signal. So not to scare you too much, but a microwave is supposed to be nice and sealed. Now, because not all microwaves are made the same, they are not all cost the same, over time, those leakage seals actually break down and eventually energy does actually escape into your room. So before you shout, aha, therefore those articles are correct, the microwave can actually interfere with your Wi-Fi. Guys, if your microwave is actually leaking energy around your kitchen or your office, you should be changing that microwave, not worrying about your internet, because every time you switch it on, stuff's going on all around you. Okay, but let's assume that your microwave isn't terrible and there is some leakage. How much of that is going to interfere with your Wi-Fi? Well, let's go run some tests. Okay, so let's start off by running a Wi-Fi analyzer on the phone. And the reason I like this particular one, because it actually shows me the link speed. Currently, it's connecting at 192 megabits per second, and that's because I'm in the office close to my router. Next up, let's double check that we are connected to the 2.4 gigahertz, which we are. There's the frequency right there. Okay, so we confirmed that we are connected to the right frequency. Next up, let's go to the kitchen. Whoops, let's go to the kitchen and let's go find the microwave and we're going to run a test there. So here's my microwave. Everyone can see that. Let's put the phone there and now let's just watch it. Let it stabilize. Okay, got to give it a shot. Okay, there we are. 104 megabits per second, 78 megabits per second, 117 megabits per second. What's it going to settle on? Yeah, it looks like 117 is what it settled on. Let's move that out of the way for a second. Now, what I want to do is I'm actually going to switch the microwave on. So microwave off 117 megabits per second. Put something in there. Okay. That's that. Let's, um, let's bring the phone a little bit closer. Okay. So now I've got something inside. Let's make sure it's settled in again. 130, 117 megabits per second. Okay, let's switch it on. And 104 megabits per second, 117 megabits per second. Okay, 117. So you can see it kind of doesn't have much of an effect for very long at all. Okay, 117 is what it kind of settles up. All right, let's go to another side of the kitchen. Let's put it up against this bookshelf. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just double check, let this thing settle in, 78 megabits per second, 78 megabits per second, 
Okay, there's the microwave. Let's go switch that on. So it's 78 megabits per second. Switching microwave on. Back to the phone. And it is on. Wow, 78 megabits per second. So no change. So there you have it. Obviously you can use the five gigahertz frequency, so you're not using the 2.4. If you want real solutions to how to solve your Wi-Fi problem, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in these videos. Lots of cool info, Wi-Fi stuff. Go, go, check it out. Let's go.